I mean, who am I to advise, but I think there is a new movement, there is a new journey. The traditional artist can remain traditional because there is a many, many generations of studies there. But I personally think this art should be of today. How can the wisdom that is illustrated in this art, utilized today. So that's my quest. And I have a dream of forming a collective force of artists, a team, a school of artists, who will hopefully bring that out in different medias. Now I see even in tattoos. Tattoo art can be described as a form of meditation. When a tattoo artist is tattooing on another human being, at that moment, they're thinking nothing else but the tattoo. For the one who is being tattooed, the pain doesn't allow him or her to think of anything else. For the tattoo artist, he's also doing a very profound art. So it's a form of meditation. This is why it's so popular in the human race. Suddenly, it overnight. Now meditation, quietening the mind. You arrive in a state of quietness, which Buddha described as sunyata, where the mundane, illusory world no longer exists. And when you have that peace of mind, there your body rejuvenates, because it is how it is programmed. I personally, in this lifetime, was not satisfied with just the monastic life. It's very easy to be spiritual and lead a spiritual life in a monastery, especially if you have 5,000 monks treating you like God. What about in everyday life? I wanted to find a solution of human existence. How can we exist in harmony with peace of mind? Mm. Now, in, in the context of a human body, human being, if you saw the whole human race as a body, let's say you are the little nail, or I'm a little tall. You know, somehow I've... I came to conclusion in meditation that we really, in real life, are all one in different karmic bodies. And the whole path of meditation and the spiritual journey is to find that collective bliss. So when we come together, there is a certain kind of bliss. Maybe you might experience that with your lovers or your very dear friends. But really, if you go beyond your mind and your religion, your thought pattern, your culture, you will realize we are all one. We have the same. So being human is to realize that every single human being you see in this planet 
is a mirror image of yourself. Message for today's youth. What I would love to say is that I would love to start a movement in the human mind and heart to learn to love unconditionally. No matter how sacred or powerful a river is, when it arrives in the ocean, it loses its name. And as you all know, big ships sail in the ocean, not in rivers. So big things happen when you are like the ocean. When you let go of your individual self, you will realize you are the universe. Unfortunately, individuality has been planted in your brains, but we do not or we cannot survive alone. With the knowledge of impermanence, you should understand that there is nothing, nothing in this life that should take or rob your peace of mind because we are all here to go. We are born empty-handed and we die empty-handed. I remember a Jan monk artist in his deathbed, 115 years old, grand master in his deathbed, was asked by his favorite disciple, Master, Master, do you have any regrets? Is there anything you would like to change in your life? And he said, yes. 80% of the things I worried about never happened. I wasted so much of my time, precious lifetime, worrying about things that never happened. Yes, a sense of worry has been planted in our mind to keep you safe. But this should not be a lifestyle. Every action in life is a teaching. Learn from it.